Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, today, Candy, National Day is out. This is for you. Get to the park. It's National Dress Up Your Pet Day. Oh, uh, let's get your sweater out, Tilly. We're going to get uh. dressed up today. And it's National Hot Pastrami Sandwich Day, so on your way to the park, go pick mm. up a nice hot pastrami. I uh, I prefer corned beef, but, uh, you know, <laughs> that's all there is. I'll, I'll, I'll have it. Corned beef, pastrami, I still can't tell the difference. And oh, you can. If they were side by side, <laughs> you would. It's Ratification Day. This is the day that officially recognizes uh, it's the act of, of officially ending the American Revolution. Uh, Treaty of Paris, January 14th, 1784, Candy. Uh, right. Which was many years after uh, the war, and anyway, it's a long, it's a long, drawn out story. But today is ratification day. Got a bunch of stories for you, Candy. This one makes a ton of sense. A new study out of Yale found that it is harder to argue with someone, takes up more brain power, than to agree with someone. Well, and I know that. Absolutely. No and one a- had to do a study on that for me. I don't know what they're wasting their money for here at Yale, uh, because when you're arguing, you're thinking of brilliant things to make your point. And when you're agreeing, you're basically sitting back on a lounge chair with a frozen daiquiri saying, yes, yes, you're right. Whatever you say, please. (laughs) Yes. Please. That's right. I hear Um, it. And then, you know, you have the blood pressure rising because you might be yelling. It's it's a silly. That was a silly study. Come on. Yes, very silly. But they're uh, finding ways to spend their money at Yale. Spend money on useless studies. Candy, do you know what a sea shanty is? A little house by the sea? No, the so- they're songs. They're oh. allegedly u- <laughs> uh, unifying survivalist songs designed to transform a huge group of people into one collective body. Uh, they're from like the 1800s, all right? Oh, I'd be interested in checking that out. Well, this is now a new trend on TikTok. Oh. People are not only singing these songs, but they're doing remixes and stuff of sea shanties. Isn't that interesting? It is interesting. I I don't have TikTok, but it is interesting. One of the more interesting things on TikTok, I will say, is when my kids start singing songs from the 70s, 80s, and 90s and say, Dad, do you know this song? I say, yes, I was 15 when it came out. Yes, I grew up with it. They start singing these songs like they're new songs, Candy. Love it. I love that. It's hilarious. They... A couple of months ago, Elijah and Abigail could not stop singing It's Tricky by Run DMC from 1986. Oh, that's so funny. And I go, you know, that song is almost 35 years old, and their minds were blown, Candy. Mm-hmm. They had no- They're like, no, Dad, it's new. No idea. Here's one. There's um, a post on Reddit going viral where she, a woman posted about her husband, his technique to cool off hot pizza is to run it under cold water. Oh, that candy. is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. Well, that is people... Just, and why do you want to cool down pizza? Don't you want it hot? Right, and I agree. And people are responding on Reddit saying, not all marriages are worth saving. No. Uh, get out of the house now. Your husband's a serial killer. Things like disgusting. this. Disgusting. <laughs> Things like I this. I can't. Ugh. Um, and if you're in need of uh, some dough... For just over $30,000 a year, you could drive the uh, Wienermobile. Um, the Wienermobile? The Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Love that. Yeah. They need uh, people to drive it to over 200 different events around the country, Candy. Very what cool. What do you think? I think uh, I'm, not, I'm not going for it, but that's a good job. I don't want to drive all around the country at this time. There's a job for somebody, that's yes. for sure. I want my um, vaccine first. Well, speaking of which, I have some uh, coronavirus stuff for you. Uh, A guy in England broke quarantine by going 14 miles from his home to play Pokemon Go, Candy. Oh, boy. The cops found him, and he admitted to it, so they only fined him $275. Wow. It's like talking on your cell phone while you're driving. That's right. Here's one. This makes you scratch your head. A man in Arizona went into a souvenir shop. The owner pulled a gun on the man who came in. Because he was wearing a mask. The owner says he has a policy in his store of no masks. And he says the virus is made up. Oh, it's made up till you get it, honey. Then it won't be so made up. This is a store owner in Arizona, kid. Mm -mm -mm. Incredible. Unbelievable. Um, 
we want the vaccine as long as we could squeeze it into our schedules. 33% of people say they would not get the vaccine if they had to have an appointment between midnight and 6 a.m., Candy. Hmm, I think I would. I would still get it. I agree. And it's less crowded, right? I would, I would there, go in the If it's less crowded, I'll get up at 2 a.m. and go get it. Candy, there's been a rise in the number of women freezing their eggs during the pandemic. I wonder if I have any eggs left. Oh, my God. <laughs> Throw those out, Candy. <laughs> Throw them away. Fertility <laughs> clinics were expecting numbers to go down because of the pandemic. But actually, it's going up because women are like, I don't want to have a baby just yet. But just in case, you know, I want and maybe I haven't met the right person. I want to save my eggs. So, you know, and, go- and you have to pay a, a rental fee every month for them yeah. to store them. Yeah, it's not cheap. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it's going up, Candy. It's going up. Um, let's see. Oh, I have some good news for you. How about this? A retired guy in Maryland is fixing people's bikes for free. All he asks in payment is baked goods, Candy. You better watch. He's going to put on some weight that way. (laughs) I know. A dog wandered on a frozen lake in England on Saturday, fell through the ice. A random jogger happened to be running by and saved it. And guess what? He happens to be an experienced cold water swimmer, Candy. The universe is a wonderful place. Isn't it amazing how this works? Amazing. Amazing. And I'll give you one more to end the day. You're going to love this one. A guy in Canada recently started something called the 40 Hot Meal Project, where businesses buy meals from restaurants. So this keeps restaurants in business. And then this guy takes those meals that the businesses donated and get the restaurants to make and donates those meals to food banks. And now businesses have spent about $45,000 for this guy's project. He's donated over 4,000 meals and all the restaurants that he's ordering from are able to stay in business because they're making money. I love money. that. I love that so much. Isn't that a beautiful, it's beautiful. Uh, circle of life or whatever? It is. it is. And why just, you know, I can't stand when people throw, just throw food out. Yeah. You know, it makes me crazy. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. really, really wonderful. Well, today is National Dress Up Your Pet Day, so... Tilly, get, get your sweater. <laughs> go, honey, go get your... Does she make any noise? Can we get a little uh, noise She was from her? just doing a squeaky toy. I thought you oh, heard that. I, no, I I'm thought not I chasing heard that. her down. She's running around like a banshee. She's out of her oh, mind. Oh, there, I heard the little squeak. Yeah, see the, her little squeak? She's in oh. full play mode right now. All right, you uh, take. can you take a picture of her in the park, please? <laughs> Do you know how to take a yes. picture of her in, in the fact, park? Yes, in fact, I have one from yesterday, and I will send okay. it to you. All right, good. We'll get an outdoor picture of Tilly. Thank you. My Country 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.